Hello everyone, today we're going to show you a video on uh, basic transitions with, within the full editor of uh, Cyberlink PowerDirector. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take these two images and I'll just drop them into the library. And you could do videos, audio, whatever you want, but for today we're just going to do um, a couple images. It's easier to, easier to show you that way. So the first thing we're going to do is um, drop this image down here into the track and drop the second image down into the track and then we'll just watch the transition you'll see it's just a quick from one picture to the next and there you go uh, nothing too special now most people um, in certain instances you're going to want that but in other instances you're going to want a nice smooth transition from one video to the next or one image to the next um, something kind of looks cool so the easiest way to do that if you take your second um, media here, which in this case is the image, and you drag it over top of the original. Um, I'm going to drag it so it's approximately one second of overlap. And when I do that, it's going to give you a couple options here. The first option you want is crossfade. So go ahead and select that. Now what that does is that puts the transition between the two images. And it's just kind of a simple fade. So let's go take, ahead and we'll play that and just take a look at it. And there you go. Let's play it once more. This, my computer slowed down a little bit. See if we can get a better view of what it looks like. There you go. So it's a pretty simple transition. Um, if we hover over the transition, you, you'll see start time, end time, and then duration is about one second. Um, let's just you can make that longer just by going to the front of it and dragging it and you can see it's changing one, two, three, four, let's go one and a half seconds. So now we've made the transi transition between the orange and the purple image one and a half seconds. And let's go ahead and play that. You see the transition just takes a little bit longer. Um, when you produce it, it's going to be a lot smoother. In the uh, viewer, it's never the, the smoothest. <clears throat> now that's a great transition, however you may want something kind of cool, a little bit different. Um, in PowerDirector they have a um, transition room. You can hit F8 on your keyboard or what you can do is just up here is the transition room. You can click that and here's some pre-canned already made transitions. Um, if you don't like the ones here you can also go to the download template that will take you to their website and there'll be more transitions you can try. Um, now it's really cool because you can just take the transition and drop it right over top of the overlap and it'll already work. So let's just go ahead and take, take Blizzard and we'll drop it down right here and then you can go ahead and play it in the previewer to take a look and see if you like it or not. So let's go ahead and hit play. You see it's kind of a different style. Uh, we'll play it once more just to get another view of it. Go back just a little bit more to the beginning and hit play. You see there's a little bit of a transition there. Now, maybe you don't like that one. It's really nice to replace it with a different one for testing. Let's go ahead and take broken glass and drop it right on top of the old one and it'll simply replace it. And that's it. Now you just hit play again to try it out and see if you like it. Let's do it once more. Seems to be the first time I do it, my computer's always a little bit slow, so we'll do it a second time to get a nice uh, nice view of what it does. Hit play. It's pretty simple. Uh, we'll, we'll toss one more on there. Uh, let's try the burning one. We'll just drop that on there. And the burning one again is going to be a different transition, but we can go ahead and preview it. Hit play and just try it out. a little bit of a burning effect. Um, let's go ahead and say that that transition is what we like. Now let's go and produce the file and then try it out. So click produce from the produce window. Um, go ahead and set your output folder and the quality you want. I'm just going to do whatever is set here just for uh, viewing purposes and we'll hit start. That'll take a couple seconds, pretty short video. You'll see it's rendering.
Okay, it is now finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video and see how it plays. So here's the video. Let's just go ahead and play on it. You'll see about halfway through, you're going to get the transition, the burning effect. There it is, we can play it again. Go there. Now it's a little bit fast, you may want something slower. <coughs> um, but there you go, that's how you make transitions and add them to your uh, cool little videos. Don't forget to sub subscribe to our videos, click the like button, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section and we'll answer them. Thanks all.